Walnut Creek, one of the fastest growing towns in the country, is getting its own police department. For the last 30 years, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office covered the area. Well, the new police department launches in just two months, putting more than 60 officers on the streets. Emma Lockhart is in Queen Creek with more on what it means for the town. I spoke with the chief of police who says this new department will help with response times here in Queen Creek, but more than anything, this fresh start is really an opportunity to create a new culture of policing. It is a great way to understand and connect with the deaf and hard of hearing community. Randy Bryce is in the midst of launching a brand new police department, a challenging yet rewarding task for the first Queen Creek chief of police. To have an opportunity to build something from scratch is just unheard of. It hasn't happened for a long time in Arizona. While police shortages plague agencies across the state, Bryce says his department is almost fully staffed. The department is made up of more than 70 employees. 64 are sworn officers. We've been very successful of putting together a team from across the Arizona and actually across the nation. Right now, recruits are finishing up training. Bryce says in the wake of calls for police reform, he hopes to create a new culture of policing. We really focused on how to address all of the national uh, conversations that have been happening, our de-escalation training, our defensive tactics, how we interact with people, ethics, any type of bias training. There's about 1.1 million people in Arizona that have some kind of hearing loss. Today, a group was training officers on how to respond to people who are deaf or hard of hearing. I actually heard about this a couple of years ago. When Chriswell Scott is a sergeant from Tucson, now eager to serve Queen Creek. The opportunity to come someplace new and really build a culture and serve a community really appealed to me. The department will start responding to calls on January 11th at midnight. Now recruitment is over, but Bryce tells me they do plan to start hiring some more people this next fiscal year. In Queen Creek, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's Family.